work do we have to do? Because the way this is right now, we cannot, the only thing that we can combine are these two uh, radical expressions on the end. We could combine the 2 square root of 24 minus the square root of 24 because they are the same square root. Okay? Um, what you need to look at these as, as almost like variables. Okay? You should, when you see this problem, you should look at that as negative 3x plus 2y minus y. Okay? Square root of 6 is like x, square root of 24 is like y. You can't add x's and y's together. But the good news is we can simplify the square root of 24. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with the fact, though, that we do have two like roots there. Two square roots of 24 minus a square root of 24. Well, that means we just have one square root of 24 because we had two of them and we're subtracting one. So we've just got one of them. Now, it'd be great if we could put these two expressions together. Well, we can because the square root of 24 can be rewritten as what? Two square roots of 6, correct? Because 4 times 6 is 24, the square root of 4 is 2. Now they have the same radical. We can combine their coefficients, negative 3 plus 2. That leaves us with just the negative square root of 6. And again, like with all the other problems, you can check this. Okay, you can type the original one into your calculator. Just make sure you close your parentheses at the end of every square root. Um, and it should be the exact same decimal value as just negative square root of 6. Okay? So let's look at another one. 3 square roots of 5 minus the square root of 27 plus 3 square roots of 12. Well, we don't have any of them that are like terms to begin with. So then we, start, we need to start analyzing them individually. Negative 3 squared root of 5, that's as simple as it'll go. 5 cannot be simplified any further. So we're just going to have to leave that one. The square root of 27, we can simplify that. 27 is 9 times 3. And if you can go ahead and put it as 3 square roots of 3, go for it. Um, but I'm just going to keep writing it out for right now. Um, 3 squared root of 12, 12 can be expressed as 4 times 3. So we've got negative 3 square roots of 5 minus 3 square roots of 3 plus, that'll end up giving us 6 square roots of 3. Because the square root of 4 is 2, we multiply by the coefficient that's already in front, so that's 6 square roots of 3. So our final answer here, we can have multiple radicals, okay? They're not always going to simplify so that we can combine all of them but we should be able to combine something. Uh, so the negative 3 square roots of 5 is just kind of by itself right there. Negative 3 square roots of 3 plus 6 square roots of 3 leaves us with 3 square roots of 3. And that's as simple as our answer can be. All right. <clears throat> Did I do something wrong? Mm-hmm. Are you talking about the six on the end? Right here? Are you good with this one? Square root of nine is three, so the three goes outside the radical. Okay, it's okay. <clears throat> and the square root of four is two, so three times two is six. No problem. All right. Let's do one with a little bit higher order root, okay? Well, first of all, the nice thing is, is we have common roots right here, right? Let's go ahead and combine those. We have four fifth roots of, let's see here, 192. I'm going to start with 32, because fifth roots, they get really big really, really fast, so hopefully 32 is going to work. That's uh, 2 to the fifth. And it does. So we can rewrite 192 as 32 times 6. And let's see if 128 is also divisible by 32. It is. So 
I'm going to rewrite 128 as 32 times 4. Yes, it should. Writing, talking at the same time don't always work out. Thank you. That is a fifth root, not a cube root, because huh, we can't combine cube roots and fifth roots. That's the other thing. You can't mix different types of roots. If it's a, You can add square roots to square roots, but you cannot add square roots to cube roots or, you know, you can't mix and match. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see here. Uh, the fifth root of 32 is 2. So that first one is 4 times 2 times the fifth root of 6. The second one is 3 times 2 times the fifth root of 4. Here's another example of where we have, we don't have one single root in our answer, but this is its simplified form because 6 and 4 cannot be divided by a perfect fifth. And we can't put them together because they're not the same. All right.